Hey guys, this is getting more interesting. Nam the Canon's lawyer, a lawyer Jima call, as Takros organizing Debo for asking Tunubu for political pardon for hyper bleeder why he's not convicted yet. Okay, in they tell them, say, one are going to say, make President Bola make Tunubu give him political pardon. This man, he never jail him. He not the prison. You understand? This is the fourth year now. Nam the Kanu don't did that the SS custody. This young man self, he don't know in faith. Even in people self, see them, they are still confused. You get how can somebody just be there? The trial now, we don't even understand. Even with this latest one now, maybe throughout this year again, he might not even appear again in the DSS custody. He might not even appear again. Because Nigerian government diverse. Why he pursue uh, Justice Binta in Yako come on for the case. And this is a woman who has been asking, you know, any, any, uh, anyhow, anyhow, making come on for the, for the matter. Now, she don't see me stay, Waka come on for the matter and all that. So, Nigerian government is actually blaming the hyper bleeder, Mazinam the Kano and all that. So, with what is going on, Sefe, it be like, say, they won't punish and small with what a lawyer in Macau don't talk before. Currently, right now, they don't longer have access to him. The government have blocked every access to him. So, in context, in context, say, you don't even know when and how it's going to be possible for, you know, Kano's legal team to meet him again. Now, Barrister Lloyd Jimako in this particular matter, the special lawyer to the detained leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Ipom Namdikano, has countered the APIS Igbo Social Cultural Organization organizing Igbo's request that President Bola Tinubu should grant Namdikano political pardon as part of Nigerian's 64th independence anniversary. Kano was uh, arrested, can I, or can I say kidnapped in Kenya? By the former president Muhammadu Buhari's uh, Muhammadu Buhari's uh, Nigerian government, as uh, being held in detention at the court study of the Department of State Service (DSS) since June 2021, by the Nigerian government prosecuting him on trumped up charges of terrorism and treason. Sarah reporters on Tuesday reported that. As Nigeria marked its 64th Independence Day anniversary, the organizing deal worldwide asked President Tinubu to grant Kano's political pardon as part of the independence anniversary. So the appeal had been made by Chief Okeke Ogeni, who is the national vice president of organizing deal in Oka, Anambra State Capital, on Tuesday while addressing journalists in the state. Ogene Chief Ogene stressed that releasing Kano could pave the way for peace, help to identify those responsible for violence, and ultimately end the troubling seat at home orders in the southeast. However, reacting to the request, Ejimako described organizing the request as shocking, saying that the organization could not be asking for a pardon for the Igbo leader who has not been convicted by court. The lawyer said, that pardon is only granted for convicted uh, felonies, stressing that such a request would never arise in Kano's case as he did not commit any crime by demanding political justice for his people. In his reaction posted on his ex account, Ijimako said, Dear Organizing Dibo, it is shocking that you are asking for pardon for someone who is not yet convicted. For your information, pardon is for convicted uh, felons and it will never arise in this case because Mazenam Dekano committed no crime by demanding political justice for his people. Well, maybe they don't see no, maybe they don't understand. You see, this Mazenam Dekano's matter, you know, they confuse everybody. You get, uh -huh. maybe they themselves don't confuse, you know, they themselves don't confuse. A country that does not obey its own constitution, you know, say the matter get as it be. In the Kano wants to divide Nigeria. If Nigeria was fair, would there have been need for 
for, for Kano in the first place? That is what we should be asking ourselves. The question that should be asked is, what was the cause of his emergence? And that is what has been asking the government to look into. Life is getting harder every day in Nigeria. The worth of the many is being uh, uh, grabbed up by the greed of the few. And you want people to pretend that all is well. All is not well in Nigeria, you get. Because this matter now, uh, you not going to see to blame them like that. People don't confuse for the matter. Materials, they go front and back. This is a man that has been discharged before now. You get, he has been discharged and acquitted. But here, the matter is starting all over again, afresh. You get, so it's enough for someone to, you know, um, be confused. You get, the real problems when we get for Niger, these people, they know they, they know they look into it. They know they trace them. You get, Nam the Kano is also a, a, a victim. You understand, he's a victim as well. So are they drop them for you? Uh, kindly drop your 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 comments below the comment section. I beg, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Share this video, let it go viral. Let Nigerians understand what is happening today in the Nigerian political landscape. Thank you and bye for now.